Okidoki. I've known about Love After World Domination since the anime got announced ages ago, and I've been trying to find something new to read when I saw this was on special in Bookwalker. It's one of those premises where you just instantly know this is going to be a gem, and now was as good as any time to see if I'm correct. I got the first three volumes, so I'm going to sink my teeth into it. Basic synopsis, Fudo Aikawa is Red Gelato, the leader of his band of Sentai Rangers, the Gelato 5. Desmi Magahara, also known as the Reaper Princess, is one of the strongest bosses for the evil organization Gecko. You'd expect these two individuals to be sworn enemies, butting heads as their ideas tear apart the world around them, but no, they're actually madly in love with each other. Having to keep their relationship under wraps due to their allegiances, these two fumble about while they learn what it means to be in a relationship. You don't need to worry about spoilers, uh, but I will show panels about gags in the manga, so be warned, because I know there's some people that don't like being supported about jokes. If you understand, let's continue. We gotta, we gotta talk about Desmi. She's, she's pretty cute. Just look at... Wait, what in sweet Jesus are you wearing? Girl, you take out the well just like that? That's literally lingerie. Outside of being the strongest member of an evil organization, Desmi is just a normal high school girl who worries about how feminine she is. What she has nothing to worry about, if anything, strong women are totally in these days, just look up fire crushing. <laughs> Fudo, our other main, kind of looks plain, but he's pretty fun as well. He's a straightforward muscle head saying whatever is on his mind, which is usually Desmi. Honesty to a fault is always a fun trait, especially when it means most of what he says gets a blush and a squirm out of the Reaper Princess. My only gripe is that we have not gotten a single shirtless scene in the three volumes I've read. Are you really going to give us someone this built and not show the goods? Desmi fan service is fine, but Fudo fan service is what the true weebs desire. Well, romance aside, I mean, fuck. Romance side, they're both not the sharpest tool in the department, which means we're watching them stumble over each other and figure out how to make their Romeo and Juliet situation work. It's honestly pretty adorable watching them interact, and I love the comedy comes from the two of them flirting or the two of them hiding their flirting while they battle to the death. I do wonder though, wh why is Desmi a member of Gecko? She just doesn't seem like the world-dominating type. I guess it's explained that it's like a family tradition, but there's got to be a bit more to this, right? Why does she have such amazing strength? Has Gekko actually hurt people before? They just want to collect neg negative uh, energy to make a monster, but that's just so vague. You, you can just do what the Japanese usually do and run a black company. Wait, is, is Gekko just like a, a normal company? They, they seem to employ normal humans along with their monsters, but then these humans seem to be able to shoot steel spikes out of their body or have the strength to uh, crumble concrete. Um, even with all that, we haven't even um, actually injured any civilians. It just seems like they just cause a bit of a ruckus and they get what they need. They, they even set a Get well package the Fudo when he got ill. Uh, am, I, am, I, am I thinking about this too hard? Uh, no, 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 it's it's the it's manga. It's the manga that's hiding something from me. Uh, I do like that it's it stays true to what it is parodying. This manga honestly catches the feeling of watching Power Rangers after school. The action scenes, while simple, have that same charm as the goofy special effects that we all grew up with. The anime it looks pretty juicy, the action just looks as fun as I envisioned from the panels. Drama itself, this manga is pretty chill. Anything that crops up is resolved in a chapter or two, whether it's Fudo worrying about planning a terrible date, or Desmi getting jealous when she sees her boyfriend with another girl. There's nothing groundbreaking here, you're not gonna rip your heart over how tragic their forbidden romance is. This is a comfy manga with comfy drama. The most intense thing we get is love rivals, and you can read the manga to see how intense that really is. Love After World Domination is really fun. I love all the recent romances that are more proactive about their relationships. I think it's called Reiwa Era Energy. That might be wrong because I don't hear it often and I'm going off Urban Dictionary for that definition. I do hope the anime gets popular. It's just a feel-good show, and I feel like just that's something that the world needs right now. Thanks for watching. We'd love to see your thoughts in the comments below. Like and subscribe for more content. 
Link for digital copies in the description. Let me know if there's something you would like me to cover. I like talk about anything that interests me. That's all I wanted to say. I hope you all have a good rest of your day.